Hey everyone, this is Kimberly Munoz and I'm an instructional technologist with Franklin ISD. Do you have a student that suffers from dysgraphia and cannot read their own handwriting when doing math problems? Well, I'm going to solve that problem in three minutes. Take a look at Mod Math. Mod Math is actually an app on an iPad and it's free. You just click Mod Math to open it. There should be a tutorial that pops up. If not, I'll show you where to find that. And this shows you all the ins and outs of using Mod Math and how great it is. So you just thumb through the tutorial that shows you how to turn things in, how to write in it, how to save, etc. We're going to close the tutorial and get started. You simply click the plus sign at the top of the screen to get an untitled document. You can then name it whatever you like. I like to usually put the name and what type of math practice or homework this is. And then you just click on the document and it opens it up. Once you get into the document, you can click inside any square and the square that you're in is highlighted in a different color and the number one in the top left corner indicates the page that you're in. If you press this icon over here on the left side, it shows you how many pages you have in your document. So I'm going to now do a math problem to show you that with this keypad that you can drag around, that a student that has dysgraphia can write out their math problems very easily and stay organized. So we'll type out a problem in two different ways. 21 divided by 3 equals, and it's manually moving itself to the right. Or I could come down here and I could type it like this. And then I can click up to the space at the top and type in the answer and so on. I can close the keyboard. I can actually undo steps if I've made a mistake. Um, I can clear everything. I can also pinch in or pinch out to see the document more so and scroll up and down so uh, you can see how much workspace you have here. And that's actually how small it will look when it's printed. But when you zoom in, you're able to work in a more close-up workspace so that it, it looks as big as you need it to look. Once you're finished, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you. This second icon over here to the left are your swatches. So if you have a student that needs a certain contrast or filter, you can try those different swatches to help them out. Then when it's ready to turn in, you can click this button here on the left-hand side. You can either print wirelessly, email it to your teacher, or you can turn it into Google Classroom. I've had students who have been able to uh, turn it into Classroom or they can actually uh, export it to their Google Drive if they have that listed here as well and then from Google Drive they can share it with their teacher. When you're finished you can just um, click the X up here at the top left corner and then you'll be able to see those actual problems saving in your document. You can also turn in again from that library area by clicking on the arrow and choosing which one you want. And then of course you can trash the paper that you're not really using. Maybe you just used it as scratch paper. So I hope this has helped you and I hope this will help one of your students that suffers from dysgraphia in your math class.